Hello and welcome to episode 5 of The Sims 3. Here are my playthings in 60 Maywood Lane. That's actually the first time I've looked at their address. And here is the house still partially unfurnished. I've got $715. Simoleons, sorry, I should say. Please go away. Wallpaper in this room would be good. Also lights. There's not many lights in here. I mean, there are, but Voxen's not turned them on. I guess because he's just woken up at... Before 6 a.m. on week two, day six, by the way, and is now eating leftover hot dog for breakfast. Lovely. So, yes, let's do the wallpaper in here. It really needs to be done. They spend most of the time in here. No, uh, that'll do. Okay, that's like half of my money gone. But their bedrooms also could also do with something. Vibes likes blue, so I'll give her blue. Voxen likes red, so I'll give him red. This is very red. Look at the difference between these two rooms. I'm not an interior decorator, so I'm not going to try. I'm just going to do... Look, the red room and blue room. And now we have 67 simoleons. That's great. We've got two cars, though. The Yoshimoto Evasion, stolen from Mirabello Plaza, bookstore, theatre, and grocery store. And Darlene Bunch's For Everything van. <laughs> two legitimately obtained cars. What do you see out there, Voxen? What do you see? Anything interesting? Yes, I'm planning some fiendish activities. These two are almost awake as well. The blah blah is here. For some reason, they sleep with their eyes open, apparently. Must be something to do with how I actually made the eyes. I mean, I guess it makes sense, you know? That's not the alien being's actual eyes. And Vibes is all nice and sleeping away. Her eyes are also kind of weirdly open. Okay, maybe The Sims 3 is just odd. Or maybe I made these characters and... The sliders were a little bit odd. Here's a blah blah getting out of bed through the wall. So every time they have to go through the back doors to get into the house again. What is on the agenda today, hmm? Vibes needs to talk about her new job. She wants to earn a raise. She wants to give Voxen a friendly hug, which they are friends now, as of the end of the last episode. So maybe we could do that. Yeah, before you go to work, just give him a hug. Come on, quickly do this. Ah, That's nice. No, 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 just go to work. Go to work. Go to work. You can pee at work. It's fine. Nauseous from disgusting food. What? Why did you eat it then? Why do you have a million books? Why do you have two Where's Bellas? We're supposed to be keeping these in con- oh, she's gone now. We're supposed to be keeping these in containment. Right, Vibes, you do an independent experiment. I think we need to, uh, yeah, push the career in the right direction. Because these two have to work for themselves. Vox and just steal stuff. And the blah blah is a private investigator. And you do need to help with investigation. So stop talking to yourself. And go do that. Why is this child always here? Do we need... How, why are you booing me? How dare you, child? That's it. I'll show you. Uh, I can't do anything. Am I not allowed to slap a child? Is that too much? Yeah, that's, that is a bit too much, Voxen. You know, that's child abuse. So... The other two are out busy doing stuff, so it's just me and you, Voxen. Don't play computer games. Oh, hey, Vibes has been granted an increase in job performance. Nice. Chat with someone, chat. Find coupons. All right, find a coupon. You're good at that. We find any coupons? I just see this blonde bitch here. Coupon for kissing Gurami. I don't want to kiss Gurami. Who is that? Oh, what are you doing, Zablablau? Discover the vast digital world of social networking. Great. That's that's really what we need, isn't it? Zablablau on a social network. It's a blah blah on Twitter. Help investigation. I just did it. I've done it. Oh my god. Hazardous gizmos. Strange, wondrous and oftentimes hazardous gadgets are lying around the office and you need to know how to get rid of them. Your boss thinks you should read dangerous device disposal. Oh, it's just, it's just a reading. Fine. Coupon for honey? All right, Voxen, we're going shopping. We've got a couple coupons. Let's go. All right. Kissing Gourami, it's a fish. And then some honey as well. That's all I'm gonna get. I don't know what we can do with these things. This honey and the silly bear-shaped thing. And then <laughs> Kissing Gourami. Uh, I'm not sure what meals we can make with that, but buy a beekeeping box. Voxen, just because you bought some honey, you don't suddenly want to be a beekeeper. That's not how it works. Oh, but now I'm intrigued. Now he's gonna make a silly face. Now the blah blahs talking to themselves. And... Vibes is about to get out of work. Play dominoes. Why? Why, though? Sing karaoke? No. Vibes Vibes has met Judy Bunch. Oh, I didn't know one of the bunches worked here. Everybody knows everybody in this town, don't they? Yay. Meet me. Should I bring the three of them clubbing, then? Is that what we're going to do tonight? Let her hair down a bit. 
The blah blah has no hair to let down. Magic? But where's the actual sim? Is that part of the act that she turns herself invisible? Give a tip? I don't think so. This isn't good enough. I know, it looks like I think it's good enough, but it's not. Your flowers are wilting. I'm out of here. And Jack Bunch has got a party. We all got invited to the party. All three of us. Jack was like, hey, you trapped me in a room for days, but it's fine. You come to my party unless he wants to get revenge on us. We've got to be careful, guys. Boyd Wainwright would like to know vibes, vibes would like to go on a date. I'm going to kill you. I am going to destroy you, Boyd. Maybe we get a swimming pool and we do it the old fashioned way, huh? But at some point, you're done for. Ah, oh, Boyd Wainwright. You know, I don't really agree with Voxon's ways, but sometimes maybe he's got a point. That's right, Vibes. That's right. You'll be evil just like me. Yeah, I don't know about that, Voxon, but in this case, we might need your powers. Okay, guys, we've got a party to go to soon. Visit police department to complete the opportunity. Wow, but I was... I literally was there. We're selling these books. Oh, I don't get anything for them? Fine, I don't care. I'm so sick of you reading dumbass fiction. Voxon wants to talk about computers. Okay, so blah, blah, so... You see, a computer is actually a portal... To another world inside the digital world. So blah blah knows you're trying to trick the blah blah. Uh, okay, in that case, uh, computers are really cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love them. Do you like them? So blah blah enjoys CDs. The round shape is imperfect but enjoyable. Catch anything? Voxen's like, what? Yes, I caught a fish out of thin air. Oh, Vibes is actually reading the book she needs to read on her own. That's kind of impressive. How do we scare an alien? I'd love it if it just doesn't work. It worked somehow. Um, it didn't last long, though. I think the blah blah just uh, pretended to humor Voxen a bit. Vibes is quite an interesting individual. She seems happy, but there's something sad beneath the surface. Oh. Well, we're pillar fighting, are we? Is this a regular activity in human life? Uh, well, usually not, but for me it is. Ah, here we go. The party. Right, guys, hold on. Let's get my ingredients in the fridge. Welcome to my honey, by the way. I bought honey, did I not? Did you eat it, Voxen? Life is sweet. Oh, he drank the honey. Of course he did. Look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. It was too delectable. Oh, for goodness sake. Drinking the honey right from the bottle. Of course he would. So blah blah blazow. Sure is acting creepy. Yeah, we'll get used to it. We gotta go to the party. The toilet just broke. I don't care. Let's go to the party. We'll use theirs. Come on, guys. Come on, let's go socialize. Luckily, it's just down the street. No, why are we running? I, I know it's just down there, but... Oh, we're gonna arrive wet and sodden. So blah blah is always wet on so blah blah's home planet. For it is entirely made of water. We're here, guys. We are here. All of us are here. Oh, they're formal outfits. I haven't seen this in a while. Since I made them. So Voxen's formal outfit is he's just got a shirt and tie on. This is formal, isn't it? Well, it depends, Voxen. This is a party we're talking about here. Vibes has got this nice little blue dress. And I think Zablaba is just going to wear whatever they want. Why? Zablaba, why are you booing Vibes? You don't like her dress? Come on now. Get into the spirit of things. We're supposed to be having a nice time, a nice party here. Who do we have at this party? We've got Molly French, Jack Bunch, Arlo Bunch, Styles McGraw, Narcissa Vatos, Susan Wainwright. Well, even the Wainwrights are here. Hank Goddard, Aaron Kennedy. There's quite a few people. Dustin Langerak. Haven't seen you in a while since one of my old playthroughs. Dustin was one of my old Sims' best friends, I remember. Roxon's having a nice dance with Molly French here. Yes, I'm busting a move. And I'm in the groove. Look at me go. Vibes, why are you going home? Whoa, 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 why are you upset? No, 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 we just got here. Oh, you're tired. Do you guys have coffee? Do you have a coffee machine or anything? Oh, there's Boyd. Voxen always remember when he danced with Molly for the first time. Slow and sweet. It wasn't slow and sweet, though. They were just grooving. It wasn't a slow dance. My goodness. <laughs> it wasn't getting that exciting. Oh, she's dancing with... Oh, she's dancing slowly with Dustin Langerak. That's interesting. Hey, Boyd. <laughs> Boyd, it looks like you're not the only one who's cheating. Or trying to. Greet rudely. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make sure Boyd knows we don't like him. It's not really in my nature to be rude, but I think this time it's gonna have to happen. Stop being a creep. 
You're a little creepy little creep. No, 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 no listening to him. Goodbye. Get out of my face. Sir Blau Blau doesn't know you, but Sir Blau Blau knows of you. You are not a good human. You are a disgrace. Please die soon. Uh, yell at. Just yell at him. Sir Blau Blau! Sir Blau Blau! Uh, give me a high five. I want to see this. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I like that. Speak madness. Just creep him out a bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we give Boyd a heart attack and kill him that way? That'd be really good. Slap. Okay, we can slap him. Excellent, yes. Vibes went home and she took... Oh, she, no, she hasn't gone home. She's taken a nap on the seat. <laughs> Where are you, Vibes? Oh my god, she's taken a nap in the bedroom Roxanne stole from. Jack Bunch is sleeping as well. He hosts. He's hosting the party. He's dreaming of dogs and he's sleeping. Oh, hey, it's a blah blah. Let me get in on the action. If we scare him, maybe he'll have a heart attack. <laughs> I'm on the way, I'm on the way. Here I go. Boyd. Heart attack! Oh, it might have made a skip a beat. He's a step closer to dying. He's not having a good time at this party, let me tell you. If he stopped being a creeper, it would be fine. But you won't. You won't stop. No one else is doing it, right? No one else keeps trying to get with Vibes, calling her, sending her, like, love letters, hitting on her at work. Vibes is okay because she had a, a nice nap with a terrifying expression. So blah blah saw a deer. You know, I've only got three sims and yet there's just so much going on, I'm getting really overwhelmed. No, no, don't go home yet. Steal. No, what do you mean go out? Stop it. Do you not understand the assignment? Oh, Jack threw me out, or I guess threw everyone out because the party's over. Alright, we're stealing something from the front garden then. Maybe a flamingo. We're definitely getting a flamingo, aren't we? Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're getting a flamingo. And yoink, flamingo time! Yeah, that's not really going to be worth much. Shocking pink flamingo second edition, great. We already took their car, so that's not an option. Can we take a tree? No, I don't think that's a thing. It's just a big flamingo heist. The great flamingo heist of the Bunch household. I think you can knock these over. Yeah, you can kick them as well. <laughs> but we're stealing them all. Three flamingos, let's bring them back home. Yeah, it wasn't a great group outing by the looks of things. So that's a shame. I'm sorry guys, you know, I tried my best, but you're just all so tired. It'd be great if we didn't have to work, wouldn't it? Well, at the very least, maybe I can... Uh, Sort more of this house's furnishing out, like is a blah blah's room here. Oh yeah, there's gotta be something weird here. Oh, that's good. What about... Oh, that's quite good as well. Let's go with that. And then we need a floor for this room. Oh, I, I can't afford it. Okay, never mind. Help investigation. I have done that. I did that. Why did it not count? Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> so blah blah would not send a love letter. There is no writing surface available, but also, the blah blah does not care for love. That's right, through the rain to get to the toilet. You know how it is. I'm sorry guys. Hey, you should count yourselves lucky. If I had a bigger plot of land, I'd be putting the toilet in the middle of a maze. You'd have to go through that every time. Do you want that? I'm not buying a horseshoe court. Yeah, this is just three sims. Imagine if I had like eight or seven and a dog or something. It would just be, it'd be quite something anyway. There'd be a lot more autonomy and who knows what trouble they could get into. Spoiled dog, nobody eat that. Uh, bin. Can I please, can I, can, eh, can I, there we go. Was it so difficult? What did you make? Peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Well, when you wake up guys, there's a whole stack of peanut butter and jelly for you. Maybe they did slow dance and I just missed it. Voxen and thingy. Can't even remember her name. Oh, I know that's not very good of me, but it does seem kind of evil. First slow dance with Molly. Few things feel more romantic in life than the first time you share a slow dance with that special someone. No, because I don't even know her, alright? I'm changing this. I don't even know this bitch. Slow dance, question mark? Lifetime rewards. I don't think there's anything to do with stealing here. So I don't know what could be really useful to Voxen. I don't really want to do stuff like steal bladder where they don't have to pee, unless it's for Zablau blah, blah. So blah blah could probably get this. Uh, fast learner is useful. Vibes could do with that. She's got to learn two different skills, so she'll definitely need that. 
No bills ever. How great would it be to not have to pay bills ever? Well, it would be very great because the whole household would benefit. So, Voxen, maybe you can take one for the team and get this. Oh, but I want something for myself. To oh, the blah blah cannot eat right now. Toilet time. Get out, get out. Privacy, please. I'm just too curious. I want to see how an alien goes to the toilet. Apparently through the clothes. That's strange. In fact, I'm actually kind of fascinated by that. Oh, now she's playing games. You're going to become a nerd vibes. Oh, you work in science, so I guess it's inevitable. You do need to keep reading the book, but... Could you do us a favor and repair this? I bet you're regretting being the handy person now, aren't you, vibes? Uh, just a little bit. So blah blah does need to visit here. Well, what do I do? If I do this, does it work? Meet cops. Sure, you, you go to meet the cops. We'll see if that helps. Don't do it for too long, though. It's a Saturday, right? I'm supposed to be chilling out, having a nice time. And repairing dishwashers, but you know. And looking at windows, apparently, because Voxen cannot stop. Yay, well done, vibes. You repaired another item, because everything breaks a million times in this game. I don't understand. Visit police department. What do you think I'm doing? I'm doing that right now. It's not working. So blah blah earned 11 simoleons <laughs> for meeting the cops for eating donuts. You know, so blah blah once made many donuts. No self-reference there. Who's this? Oh, it's Susan. Hey, Susan. Hey, hey. Who cares about Voxen? Go talk to this other grey-haired person. Hey, Susan. Hey, boss. Can we suck up to the boss? Or maybe we should just be friendly. Just get to know her a bit. You know, your husband, uh, he did flirt with me quite a few times, Susan. I think she knows. She's just, I mean, she was slow dancing with a man at the party, so... I feel like they're both having a rocky time in their relationship. Would you like to know more? No, no, no. I don't care about the moon right now. She's got a deep voice, I have to say. Quite different to mine. Buy a Bone Hilda coffin. No, I'm not going to buy a Bone Hilda coffin. I don't want to touch the supernatural stuff too much in this world, okay? So please, Jeffrey Land grab. Don't grab my land, mate. It was a weird plastic look. Get out of here. Why have you got like... Is it just me or is... Oh, he's a vampire. Of course he is. Look at this guy. He was always going to be a vampire. Probably wants to prolong his life. If you're a vampire, it prolongs your life. I might have to check this out. You relax in the rain. That's fine. But like you said, you're used to being wet. How's the blah blah? So it's, it's not a problem for you. This actually probably reminds you of home. Are you feeling a bit homesick? Alright, vibes? Good. You're reading the book. We'll finish that off. Because this a blah blah opportunity has not even been working. Now the TV broke. Oh my god, just get rid of it. I don't care. Just get rid of it. We don't need a TV. You can stare at the wall. Blimey, I'm getting a little cranky here. Oh, do you need some milky wilky, overlord? Foxen, do you want me to trap you in that bin? It appears Foxen is sleeping. And we just, at least we killed a fly. Foxen, why are you dreaming about vibes, huh? What's that all about? Oh, he's getting up. <laughs> Flirtatious joke. He would, he dreamed about vibes. And immediately had to get up and go have a flirty joke. I can't, I can't even believe it with these two sometimes. Hey, vibes, I just had a dream about you. <laughs> uh, yes, you're very cute and things. I'm not very good at this, I have to say. I still look evil when I'm doing it. Oh, so blah blah thinks this is disgusting. So blah blah will sit outside for the time being. <laughs> Alright, now they're back to just joking around. Now they're back to flirting again. Good friend, though. Take evil shower. Not together, I hope. No, okay. Uh, while they're sleeping, uh, anything else going on anywhere? That'd be interesting to see. No, there's something going on here. We got booing? We got, like, paparazzi or something? Oh, it's the magician. Why is she invisible, though? I don't think she's meant to be invisible, right? Nah, that ain't right. What is she? What's going on? Why is she a living umbrella? Who's this? <laughs> what is going on with that? Oh, it's Arlo Bunch. Oh, right. He's a werewolf, so he looks a bit weird. Who is this? People are booing her because they can't even see her. Talk about new job. How do I do that? I think we need to be in a conversation first. Oh, you guys are so incompetent. Look. Conversation. No, don't use the toilet. You don't need the toilet. You stink. You all probably stink. It's fine. Listen to flirtatious joke. So, guys, you're trapping the blah blah in the dishwasher. Do you see what you're doing here? Confess attraction for Voxen. Oh my god, they're actually going to end up being a thing. 
I didn't do this, by the way. I, I want to say I never initiated any of this. This is those two. Okay, I don't see any way of talking about a new job. I think because it's not a new job anymore, right? It's been so long that she can't talk about a new job because she's had it for like a week. So it's not possible, so we're getting rid of it. So I've jumped forward in time a little bit because I had to do some under the hood work in this with some of the other characters I'm kind of making. Not necessarily going to be introduced anytime soon, but I needed to make some other characters and do some stuff with them. And that meant that I had to change households and so everybody's lost all their wishes. Sorry guys. But we got some new ones, like buy a dryer, not gonna happen. Also it seems to have minus one as a blah blah's investigations. They had one out of 35, and now they have zero again. That's a bit unfortunate. Voxa needs to hit the town, and he needs to steal something actually worthwhile. Something that's actually worth a decent amount of money. I wonder if I can steal any playground equipment. That'd be very interesting. Well, we'll have to find out later tonight, Vox. I'm not allowed to do it in the day. Nighttime theft only, I'm afraid. Everything's 45% off. That's pretty good, actually. Everything's off. Let's go shopping. So Blau Blau is going to go beep beep. Should we buy a lottery ticket? On the Blau Blau's planet, nothing is left to chance. But the Blau Blau will indulge in human RNG. Now get the groceries. Imagine this comes into your shop, your supermarket. I mean, let's be real, you're gonna think a gun's gonna come out pretty quickly. All right, everything's 45% off, so let's get some basic needs. And nobody eat any of this. Anchovy, if only Wally was here. Dumpster diving, are you sure the blah blah? A copper was found by the blah blah blazow. I have found one of your earth minerals. A termite, oh good, let's let that infest the food. All right, go home the blah blah. Soaked, even the blah blah is a bit too wet. Oh, there he is. Wow, Boyd's so happy they found some flowers. What's he doing? Tasting the rain? What a little weirdo. That's what he wants to do to Vibes, a little creep. Oh, Boyd, you'll have what's coming to you. <laughs> Don't you worry. Let's get some of this stuff in the fridge so it doesn't go off. Pillow fighting. Oh my god, is that all you do do? Why do you always do it in the Blah Blah's room as well? Is it like the optimal room for a pillow fight because the bunk beds are there? It's very childish. I don't know. But... You do want to play chess, and you know vibes, I think that would suit you. Oh my god, does it really cost that much? It's better than that one anyway, that one's even more expensive. Alright, we don't need this, we'll sell this then. <laughs> Make a little bit of the money back. Instead of pillow fighting, do you want to play something a little more strategic? Yeah, well, the only strategy I really like is world domination, but I suppose I could give it a go. I'll let you start first, vibes. No, 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 I'm gonna put the pieces down. <laughs> And as a blah blah is going to watch the match. Is this what you humans call war? Is this how it happens? Yes, this is how we solve our debates. Oh, I wish it was true and there wasn't so much death and fighting in the world. Death and fighting causes a lot of chaos and that's quite entertaining for me. Vibes is the smarter, but Voxen has fiendish ways. I don't know how toothbrushes are going to help you, Vibes, but... Oh, the old toothbrush strategy, right? A very famous move. Kiss Voxen for the first time. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not encouraging that one. Uh, who won that match, by the way? I wasn't paying attention. I think Vibes did. Now the blah blah wants to play chess. <laughs> All right, that is quite a face you have there, Voxen. <laughs> I get it. Evil, yes, very nice. Unfortunately, the blah 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 Zao didn't win today's lotto. I like the ho. Oh! Maybe if he spent more, he'd win more. <laughs> yeah, that's what they want you to think, isn't it? You know, like most people, you give it a try once. Hey, what the heck? Stray cat? Stray cat? Oh, look at this poor thing. All I can do is uh, wake it up or shoo it. I don't want to do that. But I don't want it to be in the rain. I wish I could carry it in. Ah! Oh my god, it's a, it's a lightning cat. It's the cat of Zeus. Cat's in our back garden now. It's ours. <laughs> Come on, little kitty. I'm going to taste the rain first, but I can't get to it for some reason. Oh, it disappeared out of existence. And then a witch just came by. Maybe it really was a magical cat. A magical lightning cat just gave us a visit. Is this some kind of omen? The case of the missing... Oh, this is what I really tried to do before. And it didn't work. And now it's come back again. I can try again if you like, but I, I have my doubts. Didn't work the first time, did it? Spooky day is just a couple of days away. Oh, cool. Maybe that can be in the next episode. Need some help with the bills? You may choose to share your home with roommates. <laughs> I don't think so. Could be funny for a season or something though. We bring like a normal person into the house and then subject them to the <laughs> whims of my sims. Nothing like a bit of theft in the rain. All right, swipe something, no? 
Swipe something in the central park then. Uh, the playground wasn't working. So we're trying the central park. Oh, this is awful weather. Are we taking the hay? Oh, wait, are we taking this? Yeah, we, <laughs> we took the lamp. The lamp. With <laughs> People are going to be like, huh, it's interesting how the central park's designed with a lamp in four sides. A street lamp, but not on this side. <laughs> Steal something else. Maybe the big hay bales. If you fit that in your pocket, I'd be impressed. No, he's doing... Are you taking a chess set? I should have thought about that before I bought one. Could have just stolen one of these. Come on, take the chess set. Nope, balloons. That's a problem. He just does whatever he feels like. Fox and really not the most useful thing. But let's go home. You got your three things. I mean, the lamp is a pretty good steal. We need to take all these things out now, though. Okay, we got... Three pink flamingos to pick up. Flamingos from the bunch household. Let's pick a couple of them by the seat. Yes. We've got a chair from the festival. I need like a basement at some point where I can store my stolen stuff so I don't accidentally sell it. And then we've also got this lamp. I'm not going to forget about this. See if we can turn this on. There we go. Look, it's illuminated. You want some balloons in the bathroom? I'm just going to sell these. So blah blah found those in the, the dumpster. Oh my. Can we not? Can we stop having this? Relax here. <laughs> I'm going to relax where the lightning struck. <laughs> that seems like a great idea. Another week on the job vibes. That's a lab tech. Your gardening is still... Yeah, it's pretty bad. You're going to have to learn a little bit of gardening probably at some point. Just so you don't fall really behind in the career. Camera, take photo. <laughs> I do hope this is not too creepy. Housemate. Here is a housemate. The one known as Voxen. Great, we just snapped a picture of Voxen while he sleeps. There we go. <laughs> I get it on the damn wall, his silly game. Look at this picture. <laughs> so Blah Blah still has not gotten used to these human hands. They may shake slightly. Vibes Vibes has been busting a hump. Has she now? And earned a raise at work. Oh, work, very good. Very good vibes. Extra seven simoleons per hour. Check the weather. Do we need to? I think we know what the weather is. Check weather. All right. Oh, here's the Sunset Valley weather forecast. It is currently sunny on Monday. 18 high, but a zero low. Then we have a rainy day on Tuesday, where it's four high and minus three low, and then it jumps up to 19 high. That's very erratic temperatures on Saturday at zero and then minus six. We're jumping from 19 high to zero high in a matter of a few days. Hack information database. Why don't you do that as a blah blah? Hack a database. As a blah blah has hacked a total of 34 simoleons into the household funds. I'm sorry, what's this got to do with investigating? Are we not just being a computer hacker stealing money now? Ah! Sue Scotch, excuse me, do not teleport near me while I'm taking a shower. Guys, we got a stupid vampire or something on our place. Don't invite her inside. So blah blah, I'll take care of this matter. Oh, it's like a zombie actually. So we just gotta maybe avoid her? Ask to pose, will that work? Would you mind posing? Oh, she, she just uh, couldn't compute that and disappeared. <laughs> Works every time. <laughs> Oh my god, Stacy Dobson. Let me have a go at this. Strike a pose. Oh, it didn't work for me. They're actually posing. So Blah Blah's method may not be possible for a human to manage. Oh, and they're all asleep, right? When they wake up. <sighs> Every time I get interrupted, when they wake up. So Blah Blah is gonna go. <laughs> gonna go and try to complete this opportunity, okay? Well, you know what they say. An early morning a day keeps the Sandman away. Uh, you're the only person who's ever said that, Voxen, but okay. They also say a hot dog a day keeps the zombies at bay. Like Ann Song over here. Why are there bloody zombies? Oh, can you actually play Plants vs. Zombies or something? Was that a thing? Or was that Sims 4? I can't remember. What if I just stand here and then we see what happens? Uh, I'm gonna relax there. It's a lovely sunny time. You know, I might get rid of those flippers now. I think that should just be the blah blah thing rather than Voxen wearing them. You know, Voxen, it, it is late autumn. You realize this, right? It's almost winter. Well, it's just nice and comfy. A lovely early morning sunlight. Or moonlight, I don't know. Summer's quite a way away, but for the next summer anyway. 
Well, uh, we'll get rid of those. You don't need those, Voxen. It's very silly. I like being silly sometimes. Yeah, well, sometimes. Mm. Bad night's sleep. Oh, from a cheap bed. You don't like the bunk beds or blah, blah, really? Anyway, go do the police work. <laughs> Voxen, you, you're you going to get all kinds of diseases doing something like this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Not the best idea. I admit that it was my fault. I told you to relax. I just didn't know relaxing was relaxing, relaxing, you know? And now you're stinky because you're playing in a pile of damp leaves with barely any clothes on. What do you think was going to happen? Take an evil shower. We'll see if this is a blah blah thing works now already. It didn't do anything. It just doesn't work. <laughs> right? I don't know why it doesn't work, but it just doesn't work. I'm doing it for the second time in a row here. Yeah, it just doesn't work. We have to ignore those opportunities. I don't know why they do that. Vibes got another raise. Well done, Vibes. Accuser being evil. Well, that's just true as a blah blah. I thought you were observant, but that's very obvious. No, guys, guys, you're ruining it. Stop it. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, we do a rock, paper, scissors. What the hell? Rock, paper, scare? Just just do your generic chat. Thank for cleaning. He'll like that, I'm sure. I'm having to force you two to get along. This is what's come to. Vibe's got 360 simoleons. Yes, we got a performance thingy. A promotion, that's what it's called. Useless contraption manipulator and a bonus of 804 simoleons. Vibes is really making all the money here. <laughs> so blah blah can do, but we need some investigations to start. And if the opportunity actually bloody worked. Nevertheless, for every hundred duds and worthless whiz bangs, there's a hit that rocks the science community to its beaker encrusted core. Why are you trying to hit the word count? You better improve your skills with a wrench. Oh. All right, so we're making contraptions. That's much more like engineering. That's good. That's what I wanted. We might have to learn gardening next time because this is not looking good. <laughs> Arr, Arr, foul gardening. Foot in mouth. So blah blah tried to say something nice, but it came out all wrong. Yeah, so blah blah would struggle with that. So blah blah would say something like, "You are looking much cleaner than yesterday," and think that it's a compliment. Ah, uh, fun times with this trio. Fun times indeed. If this is Boyd Wainwright, I swear I'm killing him next episode. Ready? No, it's Marty Keaton. I don't even know who that is. But no, she doesn't want to go on a date. Oh, no. Well, at least you're not Boyd. Why is everybody interested in me? Well, this has been a good few days, I think. I am doing these episodes a little bit longer now, by the way. I think it's just nicer to get a little bit more invested in it. So longer episodes, less of them, but each one's going to have more in it. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.